chickens haven't seen me yet this morning. They're always happy to see me, so let's pay them a first visit of the day. Chickies! Yay! Hey, Luffy! Koala! Peanut! Good morning! What? Sup, buddies? What's up? Chicky! <laughs> What's up, cuties? Naked! Chicky caught something. I'm not sure what, but... Everybody seemed to want it, but now they lost interest. Hey guys, Chucky is there. No? Nobody? Where? Enjoy your meal, Chucky. Not sure what it is, though. Might be a bumblebee or... How is your problem? Phoenix! Hi, chicas. Luffy. <laughs> Nugget is pretty sleepy today. What? So Oreo has been acting like that for a little while now. She had it before. First we thought that she had a, a crop that was like swollen and, and blocked, a blocked crop or a sour crop. But she has it lots of times actually and it goes away for, for a few weeks or months and sometimes it comes back and we learned that it's possibly from her eating too much she's just overeating herself and that's probably causing this but it looks looks a bit scary though if it continues a long time i'm gonna try to massage a bit her crop to ease a bit uh, the blockage it's not really blocked but i'm gonna i'm gonna check out what um how it feels okay finally managed to get her yeah it was quite a change so I can feel that her crop is kind of full so I'm gonna try ah. sorry some of our chickens are really not they don't handle like cuddling very well this is a, a difficult one so what I'm gonna try to do is massage the crop a little bit I can feel it is full 
but not over full but I'm just easily massaging very very gently and it will help her it will benefit her just a little bit just a little bit how's that getting better are you getting better yeah okay 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 there you go there you go take it easy you can go you can go there she goes so now let's hope that um Okay, that was just in time that I let her go. Now let's hope that um, it will get better. The problem with her is she loves to eat and she loves it a bit too much. She's always eating, I think even now that, that she feels that her crop is full. Like, yeah, you see, she's still eating. She should really stop eating now. But at least she doesn't do the strange neck movement anymore. So it should be a bit of a relief. I'll keep an eye on her. She probably will have that problem during the night as well. I will be able to monitor it um, on the camera inside the chicken house. So we will check later on tonight, although there's not that much I can do. If the problem would still be there, then we can, uh, we can try to find a solution. So actually what she has now is not that much of a deal it's it's something to keep an eye on um, but the most important thing is that tomorrow morning her crop when you feel her crop it should be empty if it's not empty if it's still all there then it means that she might have a crop block um, and then we might need to see a vet uh, because there, on YouTube you can find some um, instruction movies on how you can remove that yourself but I'm not gonna come even close to try that if she really has a blocked crop then I will go to the vet but since it's really not the first time that she has that I'm just gonna leave it as it is I gave her a little massage just to make sure that the crop is not one what is not one solid piece because once we had that now it was okay when we had it with her like I think it was about six or seven months ago and it was really like almost like a stone inside her it was that hard it was really we, my girlfriend had to massage for about five minutes before it started to loosen a little bit now it was still okay it was a full crop but it was not hard it was still kind of soft so she should be fine and she's still eating like a pig so some chickens never learn right so tomorrow I'm gonna see if or gonna feel if the crop is uh, empty if it's empty problem is solved if it's not empty we need to keep an eye on her and if she keeps doing that wobbling thing with her neck then we might need to see a vet but I'm confident that um, tomorrow it will be gone it looks already much better with massaging her a bit so yeah so if you see your chickens or silkies doing the same thing there's no need to be alarmed immediately just try to do what i do grab the chicken feel if it's really hard if it's hard try to massage it but gently it doesn't need to come out so just gently a little bit not too long if she if you see that she is not comfortable with it just quit it then um but massage it a little bit and let it do overnight uh, the food processing goes from the crop to the stomach um in night time so once that that process is still successfully done there's no problem and the next day she should be good so as you can see she is still eating it probably looks worse than it actually is i don't think they are really bothered by it by making those movements i mean if they would then logically they won't continue eating as she does so i think i think she should be fine but as i said we keep an eye on her
shit. Just started raining and from the looks of the radar it's gonna keep raining so the chickens are or some of them are running around looking for shelter I don't know ah yeah you see there they are I think even here yep there's one as well <laughs> those are gone they're like screw that it's no problem because there we can shelter as well like where phoenix is now and buffy they're sheltering underneath there even under these tall grasses they can shelter if they want so they have a tunnel there they have a little house here they have so many places to shelter so they should be fine i think they're yeah they will be going to sleep in in about an hour or so I think it's around 9, nine in the evening now.